Welcome to working my way through my entire makeup collection until I've used every single product. I started this series with the intention of working my way through my makeup collection, trying every single product that I own, weeding out the products that I don't need and don't like and don't want, and only keeping things that I love. I've had a very large makeup collection for several years now, and I'm just ready for something different. I only want to keep the things that make me happy. I want to be less wasteful, so I have been working my way through my collection, and I'm going to do my makeup with these products, and then we're going to do a several hour update. I'll come back to you guys show you how the makeup is looking and then we'll go through the products and I'll let you guys know what I plan on keeping decluttering and trying again I have a playlist of these videos on my channel like I said this is episode 3 I started this over on Instagram and TikTok though like last year and I think I had like 14 episodes or something like that so if you want like short condensed versions of other products check my Instagram and or TikTok. So <laughs> if you guys like this type of video, definitely give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much when you guys like and comment on my videos. And um, yeah, let me know if you guys decide to do something similar. Earlier I tried to reach for my Red Bull, but instead I grabbed my <laughs> cup of brushes. I don't know if I included the footage or not, but <laughs> that, was, um, that was interesting. So we kind of have a random mix of products today. I'm going to tuck my hair behind my ears because that's what we do. If I was a real makeup YouTuber, beauty guru, I would have those little clips that like are supposed to not make creases in your hair, but like still do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and have those to clip my hair out of my face. I actually do have some of those, I just never use them. Why on earth is my flashlight on? What is going on? So this collection of products is probably one of the most random. We're starting off with the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. I haven't used this in I don't know how long. I remember absolutely loving it though. So I don't know what made me stop using it. Probably the fact that I have like 25 primers, but we're gonna try this out today. See if I still like it. So far, <laughs> my skin looks so pink, what the heck. Um, so far, I really like the texture of it. It has a little bit of a tackiness to it, but it's not sticky. This is supposed to prep, smooth, and perfect your skin with long wear foundation grip. Next, I am using the Vive Skin Do. I bought this thinking that it was something else. I thought it was her like skincare glowy type product. I forget what it's called, uh, but this is actually a liquid highlighter, but I started using it all over my face as if it was like a glowy primer and I'm obsessed with it, honestly. So uh, I'm going to put this on my skin. It's very glowy. This does have a little bit more of like, I don't want to say like a sticky texture, but like it's a thicker product as you can see by the fact that it's not dripping down my face. I'm taking my F42, which is the flat top kabuki brush from my collaboration, the extended collection with bling brushes. You guys should definitely check these brushes out. I will have them linked down below. You guys can use code PAGE for 10% off. We have an eight piece budget friendly, travel friendly brush set that has pink glittery sparkles all over it, as well as some bling. I'm showing you like the least aesthetically pleasing brush because <laughs> it has foundation all over it. Um, but I'm gonna start by just like blending this all over my face. This stuff literally smells so good. Like it has a sweet kind of like vanilla scent to it and I love it. Is anyone else obsessed with Jamie Genevieve? <laughs> I like love her videos so much. I love her personality. I just, I love everything about her. She's amazing. For foundation, I am going in with this, uh, I was about to call this nude sticks. This is the hourglass like foundation stick in the shade nude. Um, I don't know the last time that I used this. I don't even know if this color is gonna work for me, but we're gonna try it out. I absolutely love the Huda Beauty foundation stick, so uh, let's see if I love this. And I'm just going back in with that F42 to blend out my foundation. This is my go-to for applying foundation with a brush. It's literally the best and the cutest. So the shade is an absolute no. I, this looks so yellow on my it's too yellow and too dark so let's see what we can do to fix this um i have the elf camo concealer so we're gonna try to just kind of apply this like down here 
<laughs> and probably all over the rest of my face. We'll see how, how we can make this work. I also have this Milani un Brightening Under Eye Tint. This is in the shade 120 Peach. So I kind of want to put, oh boy, that was a lot. I want to put this on my under eye as well. I don't know if I should put this on before foundation or after. I don't think I like the way that that looks. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to put concealer on that as well. The shade is looking slightly better, but still not 100% there. Um, and that's okay. We're just going to keep moving on. Next, I have this Chanel powder. This is the Natural Finish Loose Powder. I'm going to use this all over my face to set everything in place. For bronzer, I'm going in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I am going in with my F43, which is the same brush that I used to set my face with powder. And I'm going to bronze up my skin. We don't really need too much bronzing because my face is already looking very tan, but I definitely need something. For blush, I'm going in with the Always Cheeky Blush from e.l.f. I'm applying this with my large fan brush. For brows, we have the e.l.f. Brow Lift and the ColourPop Brow Pencil. What are your favorite brow products? Let me know down below. For highlighter, I'm going in with the High Impact Highlighter from Morphe in the shade Extra. I'm prepping my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. For lips, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in the shade JK Magic. For eyeshadow, I'm using the Catrice Sandy Days Palette. I have not used this palette before. It still has the plastic protective cover on here. So we are going to try this formula out for the very first time. Here's what the color story looks like. It's really pretty, and I thought that it would go really well with this shirt that I have on. Starting with the shade bronzed, which is this matte shade here. I'm going to put this in my crease. I'm also gonna tap that shade in my outer corner as well. Now I'm gonna take my E43 and I'm gonna go into this kind of like khaki color here, which is in the shade dazed. And I'm going to put this along my lower lash line. I feel like my lip color doesn't really match my eye color. So we're gonna finish it up and then I might change this. I'm taking the shade Desert and I'm just tapping that on like the center of my eyelid. And then I'm taking the shade Sand, which is the lightest like shimmery shade in the palette. I'm gonna put that on the inner portion of my lid. Then I'm gonna take the highlighter in the shade Spark, the one that I used on my face, and I'm gonna put this on my brow bone as well as my inner corner. I'm gonna set my face with my Dewy Coconut Setting Mist from e.l.f. And then for mascara, I'm gonna use Benefit Roller Lash. Um, I'm gonna do my mascara. I'll decide if I need to change my lipstick, and if I do, I'll let you guys know. All right guys, so here is the finished look. I did change my lipstick. I put on the Sephora Collection lipstick in the shade Brunch Day, and then I put a little bit of KKW from Charlotte Tilbury on top of that. So it is currently 3.51. I will come back to you guys in a few hours for our update. So it's been about four and a half hours since I finished my makeup and here is the update. Overall, I feel like my makeup still looks pretty good. I am very happy with how it's looking. I will say the shade match is definitely my biggest complaint. My under eye area isn't looking perfect, um, but mm, no, I don't have too much to complain about. So I'm pretty happy with how things turned out. So I'm gonna go through all of the products and let you know if I plan on keeping them, decluttering them, or trying them again. Okay, so starting things off with our primer situation, we had the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. I think that this is fantastic. I don't know why I stopped using it. <laughs> I really like it and I will be keeping this. I feel like my base makeup still looks so good and basically hasn't budged. So very happy with this. Also the Vive Skin Do, very glowy. It definitely has more of like a slick, I don't wanna say oily feel to it, but I could see someone with oily skin not wanting to put this all over their face. <laughs> it definitely has a little bit more of an oily feel than say the Ofra liquid highlighter that I like to use in the same way. Um, but I thought this was a fantastic combo and I will definitely be keeping both of those. So this brings us to my first dilemma. Um, pretty much 
much my only dilemma. This is the only product that I don't know what to do with. Um, obviously, the shade match isn't terrible. It doesn't look terrible on camera. I think you can tell that my face is a little bit darker than my neck, but it doesn't look bad. At the same time, I really love the formula and I love the way that my skin looks. I love the finish. I love everything about it as far as that goes. The shade is the only thing that's like kind of conflicting here. I know that if I go outside for a few times, this would definitely match me a lot better. Um, so I don't feel like I'm ready to declutter it yet. So I think this will be a try it again product. We'll try it again in say like a month. And if it still doesn't match me, then we'll revisit this. Um, but I think it's such a good product. It is expensive, so I don't want to get rid of it if I don't have to. Um, it is warming up here in Florida, so I definitely should be outside more than I am. <laughs> um, so that one's going to be a try it again product. For concealer, I used two products. I used the Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint, and I used this e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I kind of forgot how good the camo concealer is. Um, I'm gonna keep this, but I'm going to declutter this. I feel like it didn't really do anything for me. I don't even know if I used it right, but honestly, I'm not like a huge color corrector person. Like, uh, sure, maybe sometimes. I have a Charlotte Tilbury like potted, corrector that I like better than this one so I'm just gonna keep the Charlotte Tilbury one and declutter this one and then we'll keep this concealer as well for powder we used the Chanel natural finish loose powder I will be keeping this I really like it it's not too heavy not too dry and chalky it doesn't leave a white cast um, but it just leaves like a soft finish to the skin and you can still see um, I do have highlighter on obviously but um, I have a little bit of like a natural sheen just over like my forehead you can see and I think that has to do with wearing this product in combination with obviously setting it because we were looking a little too dewy with just this but um, I do have more oily kind of like combo skin so I always have to use powder and I think this is a really nice natural finish powder. Definitely not one if you get super super oily I don't think you're gonna like it but um, if you have like normal to like combo skin I think you'll really like like that one or if you don't mind a little bit of a sheen for bronzer we have the butter bronzer I want to keep this but um, I think I probably got this in like 2018 I want to say so <laughs> that's like five years old um, so we are going to say goodbye to this one even though I think it's a great product um, I know that this is just like too far gone at this point um, I there's nothing wrong with this one it still like works fine but just knowing that it's like five years old um i could repurchase it the packaging has changed now if i really wanted it i would repurchase it but i have a ton of other bronzers that i am enjoying right now so i just don't think i need this one i think it's a fantastic bronzer though so if you're looking for a good drugstore option definitely check that one out but that one will be decluttered i'm also decluttering my blush which hurts because i think it's so pretty and i love these elf primer infused blushes I just don't think I need it. I have a lot of other blushes that I use all the time. This one is always cheeky. I have this one and I think always punchy. I'll have to like try that one again. Um, it is a matte blush formula and it's really pretty. I can still see it on my cheeks in person. I don't, I don't know how well you'll be able to tell on camera, but I would definitely recommend this product. Again, I just don't need it. I'm really trying to narrow things down. So although I think this is fantastic, we're gonna say goodbye. Moving to brows, I used the ColourPop Brow Pencil. I'm gonna keep this, I really liked it. No issue whatsoever. I have this in the shade Dark Brown. I think it's fantastic, so that one is staying. However, the e.l.f. Brow Lift, I'm going to declutter this. I don't like the way that this product sits in my brows. My brows feel sticky all day, like when I touch them, they still feel sticky. I'm just not like a, this type of brow product person. Um, I, if you like these, like the Anastasia brow freeze and that kind of thing, I think you would really like this. That's just not my personal preference. I feel like you can see the product sitting in my brows. I would rather just do a clear brow gel than this product. So um, I, even though this is like really cool and trendy and I wanna keep it and I wanna use it because it's cool right now, I am going to declutter it because I don't enjoy using it. 
I don't think I'm really gonna talk about my eyeshadow primer and mascara just because I have like four open mascaras right now so I'm just gonna kind of cycle between those um, unless like I open up a new one I'm just you know we're always gonna keep the mascara um, so that's obviously staying and my MAC paint pot is also obviously staying for setting spray I'm going to keep the dewy coconut setting mist I really like this stuff great drugstore option I love elf um, and I love their setting sprays, so this one is a definite keep. I am also keeping all the lipsticks <laughs> that I tried on today. Um, originally I tried JK Magic, it's a beautiful color, it just didn't really work with my eyeshadow look, so, um, this one I am keeping. I'm also keeping both of these, Charlotte Tilbury and Kim KW, as well as the Sephora Collection lipstick in the shade Brunch State. These are great lipsticks if you guys are looking for really nice, affordable lipsticks definitely check those out um brunch date and tan lines are both really good colors that i can think of off the top of my head i actually have some right here um i have somewhere in spain love love take a spin and tan lines i'm pretty sure either brunch date or tan lines was the first one that i bought and then i was just like i need them all so i have five of these but they're all really really good and they have a ton of colors if you're not like a nude lip type person. The eyeshadow palette that I used today, I actually really enjoyed this. Um, I don't personally like love this packaging and that's like me being super picky. Like it's cute and all, but I feel like I, I do, I am one who appreciates like aesthetically pleasing, like nice packaging, like Charlotte Tilbury packaging, 10 out of 10 no matter what it is. I love it every single time. Um, Vive packaging love it every single time and i know like you, you shouldn't pick your makeup based on its packaging but i will say not a huge fan of the packaging like the little desert photo thing there, it feels great if there's something wrong with what it feels or like looks as far as quality goes i just i wish it was a cuter packaging <laughs> uh, because the palette is so good i did not expect this to be as good as it is i don't know why i didn't i love catrice and their products are incredible i've had great encounters <laughs> with their products um so their eyeshadow palette is honestly so good so um yeah i have another one of their palettes that i'm really excited to try i really like this color story like i said i thought that this went really well with the sweater that i'm wearing so i'm keeping this and definitely going to continue to use that um i don't know how much this costs but catrice is generally really uh budget friendly so definitely happy to find such a good formula like let me swatch one of these metallics for you just so you can see this is the shade desert it is so pretty like look at that i love that so 10 out of 10 for the catrice and then finally we have the morphe highlighter in the shade extra this is another product that i've had since 2018 and that's the main reason that i'm saying goodbye to this i think it's a really pretty highlighter um it could be more natural more dramatic i love the color but i just have had this for so long that it's time to let it go i had like six different shades and over the years i've like slowly decluttered them this one is definitely extra and sparks i think were my two favorite shades but um yeah i'm gonna say goodbye to this because i don't need it and it's five years old so <laughs> I, I should be i should have decluttered that a long time ago um so overall i'm decluttering five products which i'm very excited about we're trying one product again the hourglass and then i think i'm keeping 10 i'm pretty sure well nine if you don't count the mascara <laughs> So um, I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like we did pretty good and even though my makeup didn't like flop today I still got rid of quite a few products and that's because I feel like I've gotten rid of most of the stuff that I really just flat out don't like for the most part. There's still gonna be a few things here or there um, So now I'm at the point where I'm like if I don't love it if I don't think I'm gonna use this all the time like it's got to go so it's going to be a little bit harder for me because i'm decluttering stuff that i do like and i would recommend but 
I can't keep every single thing that I think is worthy of a recommendation. Um, so yeah, that's why we're saying goodbye to so many products today. But I'm happy with myself. I'm proud of myself. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I can't wait to film episode four. I like. I always have so much fun picking out the products. Um, I always pick them out right before I sit down to film, so I don't really plan it out too much. I just walk in there with my, like, tray and just, like, open up all my drawers and put a bunch of products in, so this was so fun. Um, again, if you guys haven't already, I know I talk about them all the time, but definitely check out my collaboration with Bling Brushes. I am seriously so proud of these brushes. They are so freaking pretty and I use them every single day. They're so good. These in combination with my original collaboration with Bling Brushes, ugh, my faves, my absolute faves. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will link the products that I use today down below in the description box in case you're interested. Um, assuming they're still available. Hopefully they are still available. <laughs> um, but that's going to be it. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.